Auto workers say there's no end in sight for their strike. The United Auto Workers Union has expanded walkouts against two of the big three automakers. This is President Biden plans to be on the picket lines with workers tomorrow. ABC News' Melissa Adan joins me now from Rockland County, New York, with more. Melissa, the plant you're reporting from is one of these targeted strike locations for GM. Why this location? Hey there, Diane. So it's really interesting when we're starting to see how these targeted strikes are working out for them. This particular plant, really critical because it's actually a supplier of parts. So what does that mean? That means that we're going to start seeing a lot of trickle-down effects. But particularly, when you think about the parts industries, when it goes into the automaking business, that is where they make their money. They're talking about 40% of their profits in this industry comes from these key plant uh, suppliers and dealerships because they essentially will get those parts out to them. So if you're stopping production here, you're looking at really putting a big screeching halt to some really important parts of the auto industry, Diane. What kind of an impact is this strike having on the auto industry and the economy in general? Right, exactly. Right now, if you're out shopping for a car, maybe you'll start to see some of those impacts. But the worst right now, just because we're 10 days in, let's say something happens to your car and you want to go get something uh, repaired. Well, what happens when you get to maybe your dealership or even your auto repair shop and they don't have that part? Yeah, that might be because it's being held up at one of these plants and those workers are on strike. So that's a really critical, good example of something that could be happening really within the next week. And then we kind of hold on tight as to what we see, right, Diane, when you think about the weeks to come. If we have all of these people, their families not making their income, that's going to have a large just impact overall to our economy, Diane. So uh, what are you seeing there today, Melissa? Right, so here we have a dozen picketers. I'm going to tell you, it is raining. The conditions have been a little bit blustery, and yet I still see them uh, in and out. Right now, a little fewer that we saw some other folks across the street. And since we've been here, the cars have been honking. People have been kind of waving in their solidarity. They've had some uh, folks coming by to chat with them, bring them some coffee and snacks. So definitely staying strong despite the weather out here in Rockland County. Diane. All right, ABC News, Melissa Adan, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.